Hi, I'm Becca Reeves, Product Manager for ODA here at the TM Forum. And hi, my name is Mozol Fagari. I'm the Global Technology Lead and, and TMF Lead for AWS Telecom. Fantastic. Lovely to meet you, Mo. Same here. Thanks for so having me. So tell us, how long have AWS been members? So uh, this is my 11th TMF. Uh, personally, uh, I used to work for British Telecom and then I joined AWS three years ago. So we started working with TMF at AWS uh, since 2018, uh, but we are uh, official member since two years ago. Fantastic. And in such a short time of officially being members, you've done so much in the realms of ODA. So as we know, ODA component conformance is coming in 2025. What implications does that have for you at AWS? We have been fortunate to work with 20 plus customers, telcos, and uh, 50 plus partners uh, within TMF. Uh, and uh, this year we came with nine demos in our booth and 10 catalysts together uh, with these partners and customers. Um, and we worked around the most uh, innovative areas on generative AI, IoT, and many more to bring uh, responsible AI, uh, uh, 5G monetization, and many more. Uh, and within the DNA of all of these projects, we have started to um, accommodate um, and engage with the ODA reference architectures and ODA components. And yes, we have launched our very first uh, native ODA reference architecture uh, at, in AWS. Um, with partnership with the telcos like Bell Canada and also with partners like Ericsson and Hanson. Fantastic. So some collaborative work with existing and long-term members there. So you've been doing some very exciting work in the Canvas as well. So tell us about the work in the ODA Canvas a little bit more. Yeah, sure. So what we have done, for example, for uh, with Bell Canada, so we took like two um, services that they had uh, on their product and catalog side, and then we make, we help them to make it uh, ODA compliant. Then with one click, they could actually bring it to AWS. We also started to uh, onboard our um, native AWS services like Elastic Event Services, EKS, and uh, API Gateways, Managed Graph, and many more native services into our canvas. So when uh, Bell brought their services into into their account on AWS immediately could connect with uh, other native services and benefit from even generative AI services like Bedrock. And uh, that's why we are very um, committed to the ODA conformance because we think uh, it enables us to drive innovation and also operational efficiency through faster delivery of these services for our customers and partner uh, through native and standardized um, ODA um, architecture. Fantastic. Some wonderful collaborative examples of ODA there, using existing members uh, to drive the ODA message yes. forward with fantastic success already in yeah. just two short years. Yeah, <laughs> and there's more. So, uh, so what next is we are going to integrate this ODA reference architecture into our AWS marketplace. Uh, so with one click, anyone in their account can enable the ODA canvas. It's free, and they're going to leverage the standard as way of like uh, working with other partners and uh, other telcos. Fantastic. One click ODA we yes. have there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mo, for sharing all of those fantastic insights with My us today. My absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks.